it's Gavin here, and uh, today I want to talk about um, nunchakas. Sometimes I get people asking me about um, nunchakas, what I think about them, and all that. And um, I generally am not a fan of nunchakas for like a self-defense weapon. Um, in my country, Canada, they're they're illegal. Training ones are allowed, but uh, real ones are illegal. Um, if we had licensing, we can have a handgun or whatever, but we can't have um, basically ninja style weapons like nunchaka or throwing stars or um, things like that, like a blowgun. You can get a pellet gun, but you can't get a blowgun. Um, so so that's one thing, but even if it was elite, like allowed here, I don't really think they're a very good uh, practical self-defense weapon. I don't like the way they, uh, you can't change direction easily with them, and I don't like the way they bounce off an object when you hit with it. Um, I think that the basically a um, nunchaka is like has a has a place in history. So in that way, it's really it's really cool. Um, it's kind of like if you compare it to guns, it would kind of be like a black powder rifle. Um, it, so in that way, it's like a part of tradition and culture and history and all that. And so I think that's cool. And I think I think it's fun to to do to use them. And for me, it's more. I used to train with them a long time ago, but um, now I do once in a while, but it's more like kind of, you know, for shoulder mobility, range of motion kind of thing. I just do it more as an exercise. Um, but I do believe that the nunchaka, the modern day version of the nunchaka, or the evolution of the nunchaka, would be something like a telescopic baton. It's concealable, like a nunchaka. Um, you, can, you can use it in a way that it's more practical, okay, you have a little more control over it. You know, you can redirect it. You can you can do things like uh, feints with it, and uh, to to be more tricky, or it's a little harder to do that with a with an nunchaka. So with an nunchaka, for for some of those people who uh, I'm not really super good. I don't consider myself very good at it because I don't really practice it. But they are a lot of fun, and so some I I do encourage some people if you know if you want to try it, go ahead. It's a lot of fun. You can you can twirl it around. stuff like that. A lot of fun, but once again, I would be more, personally, I would say this is a far more practical weapon to be able to use a stick. Maybe it doesn't look as fancy. It's not something you'd see in the movies. But, well, actually you do. You are seeing more in the movies, but um, sometimes the, the most effective things don't look really, really fancy. They're just really simple. So anyways, have fun. Take care. That's my thoughts. Peace.